boom so what is up this is Mick with Fresh from the Fleet and I'm here again to show you guys my thrift trip pickups that I couldn't show on camera so let's get into the yummy stuff so this piece of simple polo shirt as you can see three on the side nice blue colorway and that stampede polo embroidery picked this up for like three bucks 395 so it was a great pickup my size and again always good with the low right so a few days ago I did go to a Goodwill I did pick up these if you follow my Instagram you would have seen it but they are the tubulars, Adidas tubular. Um, super clean, man. I mean, pretty clean for $9.99. Had to pick it up. As well as finding these, I did find Roche Runs and also some OG guest boots, but I didn't pick them up. They were only really 15 bucks. And the Roche Runs looked great on the top, almost like a salmon in gray color, but the bottoms were just worn out. Not worth it in this case. Barely any use. I mean, if you look on the inside, print is still good in the inside and everything. At the Goodwill outlet, I did pick up this vintage 1995 uh, Tweety Bird shirt right here. Look at this thing, how it's glory. Uh, it's this Tweety with a snapback, as well as that kind of like American flag kind of thing going on. Uh, it has like a little stain right here, but man, for 50 cents, I had to pick this thing up. Some old school stuff, as well as the tag, if you see, it says Looney Tunes on the other side. Warner Brothers 95, the Miami vintage stuff, right? Also at the outlet, I did pick up this right here. It is the Dr. Seuss. Um, I have no idea actually what this is because it looks pretty old school because it has the cufflinks. Uh, but what it is is that it's all the Dr. Seuss names of all his stories, the books and everything, and they're just printed out on this white. Uh, as you can see, it says like Horton, here's a who, Dr. Seuss, it says uh, a cat in the hat, it says uh, box and socks, it says, you know, a bunch of them like green eggs and ham, uh, Yertle the Turtle, it's got everything around here. But what it is, it's pretty much a, it's almost like a bomber style, like, like maybe, I don't know, like a bomber style shirt. It doesn't have buttons or anything, it's almost like you wear it open, but it's got the cuffs on it, and it was an awesome piece. I picked this thing up, 50 cents, again, uh, had to pick it up. Looks great, that black and white. So as well as that, I did pick up this. Uh, it is, is it a type of like sweater, I mean, Sorry about that. It's just crazy getting a phone call out of, I don't know where this one is like, right? Check this out. It's pretty much like this kind of like, as you can see, it's that kind of like crazy stop out of like Yeezy, or as you can see, the neck is almost like, it's not even a hood, right? And it, it just hooks over here. It's got kind of a medium kind of open length. And I mean, you can just see me this with some like, you know, cut off shorts and like Yeezys on or the turtle doves, you know, I mean, uh, I'm gonna get it like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna re-sew the edges so they're a little closer to the body because this is like an XXL, uh, but I had to pick it up, it's like a crazy looking thing, that's another like crazy little piece here, uh, got it at the Goodwill, I think it was like five dollars though, we'll see how it goes with it. As well as that, I'm gonna show you guys Ross pickup right here, so at Ross, so I picked up these at the local Ross right here, if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen it. But yeah, it is the Adidas Los Angeles. I believe these are called the Hype Pack. It was crazy because I ended up finding them $22.99. And I remember like finding them and like <laughs> the loss prevention guy, the person at the counter even was like freaking out about it because um, for the price of these, this, what it was is that it didn't have the, you know, like compare value. It didn't have that on here. So, I mean, maybe they priced Adidas at, you know, lower, but any Nike that you're gonna find in there is gonna be at least 50 and up. It's always like that. So what was cool about these, uh, I did wear them already, but uh, the continental bottoms, man, on them, uh, the rubber on them are just awesome. And uh, other than that, I mean, it's a clean colorway. It's got that kind of Tiffany with that silver colorway here, as you can see, uh, super comfortable. And I always wanted some Los Angeles of these. I did find some at the rack, but didn't work out. Didn't want to buy them. I think they were wanting like 50 or, you know, 50 and up for them at the rack, but, uh, these, crazy enough, my size, and I had to pick them up right away when I found them. And again, living that three-stripe life. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I know I've been slipping up with these videos. I will be making more soon to come. Classes did start, so it's getting kind of hectic. Crazy stuff going on. You already know. But I will be pushing on, as you know. Got to hit up round two soon. Um, be filming there, as well as some other places. I will be hitting up thrifts. Uh, that's the thing, I thrift all the time, but it's filming, you know, and, and just putting out in the video. If I wanted to put out some clips here and there, here and there I do, I should start doing that because most of the time I am just filming all in that one time and it is hectic doing that. 
So maybe I'll film, you know, every once in a while, put them all together, do a big review or something like that because I gotta keep this going on. I owe it to you guys out there, right? So I'm gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This is Mick from Fresh from the Fleet.